So let's actually start off by editing the theme logo. Now this is the image that appears on the top left hand corner of your super site here. So if you want to modify that you can click on theme content again. Uh, now over here you need to browse for the new image. So let's say I want to add logo.jpg, open and upload image. So as you can see the logo has been changed and if if this particular theme is associated with the live language then you'd be able to see the changes immediately. For now let's actually continue modifying before we can actually see all the changes reflect onto uh, the super site. So let's actually go back to the dashboard. Now over here well you could use the breadcrumbs and go directly into uh, uh, you know the manage theme section but otherwise you could click on customize theme over here. And as you can see, you can edit the CSS files, uh, you can edit all the images, and you can even edit the menu style. Let's actually start off by editing some more images. We've already changed the logo. Let's, uh, let's click on edit images now. Now this is a comprehensive list of all the images that are available on the super site. Now obviously at times it becomes a little difficult for you to be able to search for the image that you're looking for over here. So to make this simple we've actually put a search tool where you just need to put the image name. How do you find the image name? You can go to the super site, right click on the image that you want to uh, modify. So let's say I want to modify this register a domain, uh, domain name uh, image. I right click, I go to properties, within the properties section. I can get the image name which in this case is hp-domereg-blurb.jpg. I take the name and I go back to the admin area, feed it in over here and immediately the admin area searches for the image and shows it to me. So just to be sure that this is the image that I want to modify I can just take a preview and well this is the image that I'm looking to modify. So now I can click on the edit button over here. I can browse for the new image and I've already created one and upload it. So I've basically just uh, created a grayscale version. Obviously the image is not, uh, you know, the entire image is not showing over here, but it would show on the super side and I'll show you that a little later. Uh, now, if I just go back to images for a second, you can see over here that you can even add, add your own images uh, to you know any section within the super site that you choose to. So for that, you just need to click on the My Uploaded Images section and add any image over here by clicking on the Add New Image button that you can see the cursor point to. Right. So this takes care of how you can actually. Uh, you know add or modify images within the super site. Uh, the other aspects to a theme, well I'll go back to the manage theme section. Uh, of course you can even change the look and feel of your main menu style. So the main menu style that we're referring to is this. Right so I'll go back to the admin area. I can click on edit menu style. Now this is actually a JavaScript file that's uh, available for you to edit. So let's say I want to change the font size to 11. Uh, maybe I don't want it to be bold, I can just keep it normal. And then the, the background color could probably be, well, a dark gray and I can click on save changes. Once again I'll actually show you how these changes reflect onto the super site theme uh, in a short while. So let's say we've actually modified the JavaScript menu. Let's now look at modifying uh, some of the CSS files and that to me is one of the most powerful tools for customization because one change made over there could actually you know, be a huge change made on your super site for all your super site pages. So let me go back to manage theme, edit CSS. 
Now let's say, uh, you know, again, first of all, all the, uh, you know, all the CSS files are divided appropriately. If you're looking for something to modify within your digital certificates uh, pages, you're, you know, you it's within the digital certificates folder. Similarly for domains, hosting, live help genie uh, and site builder. Now let's say I want to modify something that's common across all pages. Uh, so let's decide what. Let's say I want to modify this background color that you see over here where the cursor is pointing to and over here and let's even try to uh, change the the color of the text over here so let's go back to the admin area now I click on common within this uh, you know we just have to be careful to actually find the page that we're looking for so you know for example your super site login.css page is uh, you know for uh, the login uh, section in the header which is which is this so similarly if you want to modify something in uh, which is common across all pages you need to go to the super site hyphen common dot css uh, file uh, now over here I could you know add a background uh, color so I'll just specify background and I want it to be uh, a dark shade of gray the font color well I was keen on red so we'll change that to red right and we'll save the changes So, uh, to actually see how all of these changes have reflected onto the super site, let's now actually associate this theme with a language. So, for that, I'll go back to the dashboard. I'll click on manage site for the English language. I'll click on edit settings. Click on for this webinar theme in the drop down and simply save the changes. So now uh, with the English language, there is a new theme associated, which is the for this webinar theme. Now, currently, this is the Chinese simplified language that you can see because of what you see here. Let's actually select the English language again. And well, let's just give it another control F5 to see the changes reflect. bingo as you can see well uh, I'm not I'm not really a designer so uh, uh, you know please bear with uh, my styling of the super site but uh, I think what I'm what I'm trying to explain over here uh, is that the super site allows you for to basically perform all sorts of customization activities you can you can change virtually everything